Visa Incorporated is one of the most popular and well-known digital payment brands in the whole world. It is known for letting people, banks, financial institutions, governments, and companies do business with each other. Visa helps its customers all over the world make fast, reliable, and safe internet payments. In this video, we'll look at Visa's business model, including how credit card payments are processed. We'll also look at its products and services, how it makes money, how it earns money, its marketing strategy, its value proposition, its market share, and its competitors. Now, before diving into the business model of Visa, let's quickly learn about it as a financial services corporation. Visa Incorporated is a financial services company with offices all over the world. It was started by D. Hawk in 1958. Its main office is in Foster City, California, which is in the United States. It started out as a credit card program called Bank AmeriCard, which was a strong campaign against the competitor Master Charge, which is now called MasterCard. The buildings are highly secured and insured against natural disasters, crimes, and terrorism. They can be run on their own without any help from outside tools. They can also handle up to 30,000 transactions at the same time and up to 100 billion commands per second. Visa doesn't give out cards, make loans, or set rates and fees for customers, which is an interesting fact. They give payment products with the Visa brand to well-known banks, which they then use to give their users credit, debit, prepaid, and cash access programs. At the moment, they have offices all over the world, and almost all Visa transfers are handled by companies that run VisaNet at one of four secure data centers. Based on the amount of money spent and the number of cards given each year, China UnionPay was the world's second largest card payment organization until Visa passed it in 2015. Now we can get to the start of the business plan, which is how the process of paying with a Visa credit card works. Business Model of Visa Visa works and helps in a market with two sides. On one end, it works for cardholders, issuers, and issuer processors. On the other end, it works for companies or merchants, acquirers, and acquirer processors. Visa puts banks and other financial companies into two groups, issuers and acquirers. Visa doesn't give its users cards and doesn't ask business owners to take its cards. These are the things that the author and the acquirers are responsible for. Now can you answer the following question? What are the respective roles of issuers and acquirers in the process? Comment your answers below. A typical Visa transaction looks like this. Cardholders are the individuals who own a Visa payment card. Merchants are the businesses that accept Visa cards as payment from cardholders. The financial institutions that issue Visa cards for the cardholders to use are known as issuers. Issuer processors are agencies that have the technical infrastructure to handle transaction processing for issuers. The job of the issuer or issuer processor is to carry out a series of research into its account systems to assess the potential risk of fraud. Look at that, the account has a good history of transactions. Verify if the cardholder has sufficient credit for the transaction. Based on all of these questions, the issuer will decide whether or not to accept the transaction and will then send Visa an authorization response message. The authorization answer is then sent to the acquirer by Visa. Acquirers are the banks that work with businesses to get them to accept Visa cards. They have benefits like discounts at stores. Acquirer processors are institutions that have the necessary technological equipment to perform transaction processing for acquirers. The results are sent to the merchant or company terminal by the acquirer or acquirer processor. If there is enough money in the account, the payment is accepted and the deal is completed. The issuer bills the cardholder monthly for all his transactions. A wide variety of products and services are available at Visa Incorporated. Let's have a better understanding about the same in the next section of the business model of Visa. Products and services provided by Visa. Visa's credit cards are known all over the world and millions of people use them. But other than that, they offer an extremely large number of services, such as they do the authorization, clearing, and accounts settlement services for financial institutions and businesses using their services. Credit, debit, and prepaid cards are services that the company offers to both its customers and other businesses. Products Visa-branded credit cards Debit cards 
Commercial cards, prepaid cards, mobile and money transfer products, services, authorization, clearing and settlement services, mobile financial services, mobile payments, money transfer, top-up services. There's a lot to learn from the money-making process of financial institutions. Visa makes money by charging its merchants or companies transaction fees. For example, let's say a cardholder pays a store $1,000 with their card. In case the merchant fee is 3%, the merchant would get $970 from the transaction. The remaining $30 would then be split between the author and the acquirer in a way that depends on the amount of the interchange fee. If the interchange fee is 2%, the issuer keeps $20 and the buyer keeps 10 Because there is a higher chance that the cardholder won't pay, the provider is known to keep a bigger share of the merchant fee. Visa makes money on payment volumes, value-added services, and transaction processing. It also has a number of services that add value. Risk management, loyalty services, debit issuer processing, dispute management, etc. are some of them. Now let's look at the ways to make money and the well-known four-party payment strategy. Visa makes money from these sources of income, which are also called the four-party payment model. 1. Service revenues acquired from banks for their participation. 2. Data processing revenues for authorization, clearing, settlement, and transaction processing services. 3. International revenues come from transactions where the cardholder and the merchant or company are from different countries. Other forms of revenue could be generated through fees for the usage of the Visa brand, account holder service fee, certifications, and other licensing. Visa has built a global processing system made up of many processing centers that work together to create value. These are made to connect to each other. One of the most important things Visa does is manage payment transactions and the networks that connect them. This makes sure that cardholders, banks, and companies get a safe, efficient, and consistent service. Marketing Strategy of Visa Visa is a technology-driven business, and it divides its target audience into groups based on things like geography, personality, and age. They try to reach possible customers through selective segmentation. Most of the time, they go after people with money to spend and people who need credit. Visa reaches out to its target market through banks and other financial institutions. Even though a Visa is a B2B business, there is no need for marketing and PR because there is no direct link between users and merchants. But they still say that the best way to build trust with customers is to take part in consumer advertising. Through its growth, Visa is now able to work with almost every bank in the world, with their value, they enable power to achieve greater things from the same attributes of money. Visa's business plan is built around the value proposition, so let's move quickly to the same. Value Proposition of Visa Visa is making it easier and safer for its customers to use. It links people and companies in more than 200 countries, and each day it handles more than 150 million transactions. Their goal is to be the best way for everyone everywhere to pay and get paid, which is why their tagline is everywhere you want to be. Most Visa users are between the ages of 20 and 40, and most transactions happen in the B2C and B2B segments for many different types of businesses. Visa is known for its mass marketing through traditional and digital ads. In this new era of marketing for Visa, digital marketing also plays an important role. Visa has recognized the power of digital marketing and has educated leaders and directors to run its marketing operations at all levels, in addition to its well-known and well-respected traditional marketing methods and mediums. Now we'll learn about Visa's share of the market. Market share of Visa As of 2020, 45% of the market is controlled by Visa and 20% is controlled by Rupay. And MasterCard has a 35% market share. Visa is one of the four largest credit card networks in the United States, along with MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. Visa is based in the United States. Visa's cash payment in the U.S. was $1.97 trillion for the year 2020. There are about 343 million Visa cards in the United States and more than 798 million outside of the United States. Competitors of Visa 
Visa has been around for a long time in India, and in that time has gained fame, a good name, and profits. However, as times have changed, the country has come up with its own native and homegrown payment companies, and the government has given these local mechanisms a boost. So these UPI-based transactions are getting a lot of attention from both consumers and small and large companies. In addition to local rivals, Visa also has global competitors like MasterCard, American Express, Discover, PayPal, and JP Morgan Chase. Visa is strong against its global competitors in all of the countries where it is already present because of its image and how it does business. Visa is at a very important point in its business, as it is facing competition both in India and around the world. Also, homegrown names like Rupay are getting a lot of attention. Visa is having strong competition in the digital payments market from new services like BHIM UPI, Paytm, Pibay, etc. Conclusion We now know that Visa has a strong 45% market share in India and is still strong compared to the new digital payment brands that are starting up in India. Visa has kept its hold on the market thanks to its marketing strategy and incentive-based business plan, as well as its work in the digital marketing age.